Okay, now when you're doing the edification, you want to be able to appeal to the different personality types of your prospects. And I'm going to use a little illustration. Different people um, and different trainers have a different way of illustrating the different personality types. But I'm going to use some sea animals. And these are the sharks, the whales, the dolphins, and the urchins. Okay, now sharks are people who are very money motivated. And we've all met those kind of people. And, you know, also some people, you know, have each of these things in their personality, but they might predominantly be more one way or than the other. So, and we don't always know what our prospect is. We haven't really spent that much time with them yet. So when we do our edification, we want to make sure we cover all of our bases. So we have our sharks. Those are people who are very money motivated. We have our whales. Our whales are people who are very caring, and they just they want to take care of everyone. And then we have our dolphins. I bet you can guess what they like. They like fun. And then we have our urchins, and those are the people who need all of the details. So when I edify my, um, my expert, I want to make sure I cover all four of those so that my prospect is connecting with that person. I'm, I'm creating a relationship here. I'm creating a relationship where my prospect is going to look at my up- upline expert as someone to look up to, as a position of authority, someone that they can relate to, someone that they um, are getting this information to where they're going to make a life-changing decision based on what this person has to say. So let's say I was introducing my husband, and I might say something like this, or it could be anyone. I'm just using his name. Okay, so I'd say, uh, let's say my prospect's name is Mary. I'd say, Mary, I'd like to introduce you to Pat Montefort. Pat is heading up the national expansion of our company and has been instrumental in my success. He's a family man and a ton of fun to work with. Pat's the perfect person to answer your questions about the compensation plan as he understands all of the details on how to leverage it for the maximum earning potential. Okay, so let's go back and break that up and see if you can figure out where the shark, whale, dolphin, urchin is, okay? So I'd like to introduce you to Pat Montefort. Pat is heading up the national expansion of our company. What do you think that is? Well, that would appeal to probably the sharks and has been instrumental in my success. Okay, that might appeal to the whales because they are very caring. He's a family man. That, again, appeals to the whales very caring, and a ton of fun to work with. That appeals to our dolphins. Pat's the perfect person to answer your questions about the compensation plan, sharks, as he understands all of the details, urchins, on how to leverage it for the maximum earning potential. Again, urchins and sharks. Okay, and then I would say, Pat, I'd like to introduce you to Mary. Mary has a question about how we make money with this program. Then my job is very easy. And for some people, actually, this is the hardest job of all. (laughs) And that is, and I don't mean to be rude, but sit back and shut up. Zip it up. And that leads us to deadly mistake number four, which is interrupting. Now, you went through all this effort to edify your expert. You made them walk on water. You made them glow in the dark. Don't undo all of that work by interrupting. If you interrupt your, your, um, your expert, you immediately de-edify them. And then you lose the entire effectiveness of the three-way call. I don't care if they are totally messing up the explanation. I don't care if they've left out the thing that you thought was the most important point that you wanted to be made. Remember, your prospect doesn't know. All your prospect knows is they are talking to this expert and they have team support and now they know they don't have to do it alone. They've got somebody else who can do all the talking for them and that what's important to them. The answers to the question are kind of beside the point. Okay, so the best way to avoid interrupting is to mute yourself. Now, if uh, you don't have a mute button on your telephone, and chances are you're not going to be on a conference call like this, you can't press star six. So what I would suggest is you go get yourself a headset. And there's a Plantronics model, P-A-N-T-R-O-N-I-C-S, Plantronics, Model number M, as in Mary, 175. And you can get that at Radio Shack. It's about $39.95, I think it is. And it's great because it has a mute button and a volume control right on the headset itself. So if your phone doesn't have a mute button, you can get it with the headset. I love the headset anyway. Um, It'll save you tons of money in chiropractor bills, not lean into the side, and it'll allow you to be mobile and move around. But I recommend you get that. And as soon as you edify your prospect, I mean, edify your uh, expert and then introduce your prospect. Put yourself on mute, sit back, and, you know, sip a cup of coffee, something, and just enjoy, enjoy the call, but don't interrupt. Okay. 
deadly mistake number five, are you ready, is talking too much after the call. When someone's thirsty, you give them a drink of water with what? A glass, not a fire hose, right? <laughs> okay, that's called fire hosing. And that's what happens when, you know, what people tend to do is they get so excited and after the three-way call and after they've let their expert go, they end up going back and, and answering the question all over again or giving a whole bunch of new added information. And you can talk yourself right out of that prospect joining by talking too much because all of a sudden, what's happening again? What's going through the prospect's mind? You always have to put yourself in that prospect's mind. The prospect's thinking, oh, gosh, this is complicated, and this person knows so much, and, oh, am I going to have to do this, like, after the three-week call? Then I'm going to have to sit and talk to my prospect for, like, another 30 minutes? And they start looking at how much time it takes, and you have just talked yourself right out of the sale. You know, I watched this happen. I used to do these meetings, uh, hotel meetings, back before we started working with the Internet and the telephone only. And, um, you know, nothing wrong with still doing hotel meetings. I know a lot of people do them, and they're very effective. We had this one guy, <laughs> and he was the best at bringing guests to the meeting. He always had guests with him. It was wonderful. And they would be attentive, and they would, you know, go through the whole meeting, and we would have them pretty much ready to go, closed, ready to go. And then he'd walk them out to the parking lot, and he would be out there for like 30 minutes, sometimes in the cold, not letting them get in their car, talking, 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 talking. We'd be in the windows waving our arms. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> and he'd just be talking, 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 talking. And guess what? Nobody ever signed up. His prospects never signed up. He talked them right out of it. I, I don't know. We, we practically were going to tie him to his chair so he could not leave the room after the meetings. And we told him time and time and time again, but he just could not. He couldn't get out of his own way. So, deadly mistake. Do not talk too much after the call. Your, 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 your uh, three-way, your expert person should have done everything for you, and we're ready to go. Okay, now I'm going to give you a bonus mistake, deadly mistake number six, is not having enough people available in your three-way calling network. So create a list of all the people that are available, and again, you can use your upline, your downline, and your sideline, and then create a list, get times that those people are available, be sure to check with them in advance. And key, key point here is make sure that everyone is properly trained on doing three-way calls. 